What is good, everybody? And welcome to a Bills Dynasty. I bought Madden 19 in order to make the Buffalo Bills into a dynasty because it seems like they're on a bit of a downfall. I mean, I don't think they are. As long as you have Josh Allen, you're not really seeing much of a downfall there. Um, but they had a peak, and a lot of people thought that they were going to turn into a dynasty, get better, get all the young players. They, those were going to get good. But they never really drafted correctly. And I want to fix that. And I want to fix that over the years coming up. Um, making all the draft classes that I made. I made about four years of draft classes. If I get to the point that they're still not a certified dynasty by then, I will make the 2023 draft class as well. There's only a few that I would probably put in, but the more recent ones I put a lot more that ended up having more of an impact on their teams. But we are going to rebuild the Buffalo Bills, uh, Buffalo Bills into a dynasty. And that's my intent. I'm not just doing one year. It may be five years. It may be 10 years. It, whatever it takes to turn the Buffalo Bills into a dynasty. And the only reason why it's so specific to them is because of Josh Allen. Because a lot of people thought Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen were going to be dueling for the foreseeable future. Almost like Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. This year's a little uncertain. Also with Sean McDermott at head coach. So we're going to replace him with Chico Castro right now. Actually, we'll go with the auto-generated coach that they made once we decided to try to replace Sean McDermott. Juan Blanco. A bit of an insane name, but we'll stick with it. We will stick with it. Um, that's basically the player model that I was probably going to go with, uh, obviously, with the beard. So we're going to head into making the buffalo bills and josh allen super bowl champs first off that's that's our first goal we need to get one super bowl then after that we need to build it into more but we have to see what ends up happening this year and yes i am going to make josh allen a superstar that's without question there's no point of even trying to go against that because josh allen is a superstar and he's basically a top three quarterback in the league no question about it you can argue about it in the comment section i'll argue with you about it if you want to but i think josh allen is definitely top three in the league and very talented as is um but we will take a look at it he is a 74 overall they had kelvin benjamin at the time Lashawn mccoy who they traded for who wasn't too happy to go to buffalo it seemed according to his podcast uh curly jeremy curly who seemed to be pretty solid. Uh, Zay Jones, who they had just drafted at this point um, recently. 75 overall. We'll see if he ends up staying on the team. Deion Dawkins, who also was a recent acquisition. Um, Charles Clay, one of the best mediocre tight ends that I've seen in my life. Um, I'm not saying mediocre in a mean way. I'm just saying he wasn't Antonio Gates, but he also wasn't like Robert Tunyon. Uh, that's that's the only way that I could put it. Um, 82 speed, 84 catching. I think that he can be good for the time being. I won't really have to worry about tight ends. Um, on the defensive side, Jordavius White was recent as well, but he catapulted into being a star in 88 overall. Um, Trent Murphy, who I do remember seeing his name, but I did not think he was that white. Uh... Kyle Williams, I do remember as well. Infamous, infamous defensive tackle that I knew for a very long time. Jerry Hughes, also very solid. Played for the Texans as well. Um, is this Vontae Davis? I always confuse Vernon and Vontae, but I know Vernon is the tight end. Micah Hyde in his prime, um, who has an upgrade. I'll put it on zone. But one area that we don't have to worry about until maybe 2021 is and this is 2018 if you can't realize that um is the safety positions jordan poyer is going to be solid as well we just have to be able to keep these guys um and that's my main priority i do have to see when their contract expire uh but 27 is not bad um we'll take a look at their contracts to be a little more on the dot about it He's good until 2020 and not getting paid a lot. So that's good for us. Um, let me take a look at Micah. 
and see if we have to replace him or re-sign him at any point. He's good until 2021. So I'm not concerned. At those points, they're going to be a bit on the older side. So we might not try to um, sign them back or sign them long term, per se. Calvin Benjamin, who was supposed to be this insane wide receiver at one point, ended up not being. Uh, they have Josh Allen on quick, which we will edit as of right now. Um, no way am I going to have Josh Allen be just quick development. I think that he is signed for four years, so that's good for us. But if we build around him as much as possible, I don't think I'm going to do the whole Stefan Diggs trade per se. But I want to see how they do this first year. I want to see how they perform. If they don't perform well, then we know which areas to focus on whenever we go to the stats and see who isn't performing. Um, free agents, we'll just take a quick look to see. Oh, Richie Incognito, who had a bit of a case at one point, I think. Um, it's not a bad free agency over here, but I'm not wasting my money. It's just intriguing to see who was still a free agent whenever the active roster was put in. But incog Incognito wouldn't be horrible. Um, didn't they sign him at one point? We do need a left guard. Okay, no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Um, set the season goal. I'm not expecting this team to win a, a, win a lot simply because of Josh Allen being not experienced yet. Um, and the offensive line being absolute dog shit. So seven wins is healthy. I might go nine to just try to go big or go home here. Uh, I don't think it's going to get to 10. So we'll do nine wins on the season, but we will simulate to the, we'll do the mid season mark. I just don't know what we would do about it, but we'll, we'll simulate to the midseason mark, see how the team's doing, and see how Josh Allen's doing. So at the midseason mark, we are three and five. So as I predicted, they're not going to be really insane. I do have to put it on auto progression. Hold on. All right, but to take a look at the players ready to negotiate right now, Kelvin Benjamin is up for a contract who wants 27 mil over four years. Uh, it would be 40 million total, and he's normal development. I don't know if I would give you four years because you would be 31 when the contract is up. Kyle Williams, what is our cap looking like right now? We have 96 mil this offseason. Whew. Jesus. Okay, okay, so I can consider a little bit more. Um, Vontae Davis is 30 years old. Lorenzo Alexander is 35. A lot of these guys aren't going to make much of a difference to us right now. Um, oh, look, Logan Thomas. I don't think I'm going to re-sign Kelvin Benjamin. I might let him go into free agency, see how that goes. Um, if, if somebody ends up overpaying him, so be it. I don't care. Uh, I'll get a wide receiver in the free in the draft or free agencies coming up. I know there's plenty in the drafts in these upcoming years, especially Justin Jefferson in a few years. So I could aim for that. Um, I think I will keep Kyle Williams. Jeremy Curley wants a three-year contract, which is actually insane. We might have to really replace um, our wide receiver room. Because I don't see them coming back. I will re-sign Kyle Williams, though, to what he wants. Uh, okay, never mind. He doesn't want the contract that I gave him. If I sign you, you drop me to 88 mil, which I don't think um, I want to do. I mean, if Kelvin Benjamin ends up working out... I wanted Kelvin Benjamin to work out in real life uh i might drop it oh it makes us pay more okay we'll do three years seven mil i don't want to pay you until you're 31. i don't like anything about this offer okay kick rocks um everybody else can also kick rocks i don't care i can figure it out whenever free agency comes but the college players I do have to import a local file. As you can see, 
I have 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. I will more than likely do 2023 when the time comes. I just wanted to get the video going. Um, 2024, I'm not, it, there's no point. Um, I know it's Caleb Williams, all those players and all that shit, but it's basically almost the same as me. Like I would literally just plaster the name on the auto generator players. I know how these players are doing. Um, 2023, there's like the top ones that are doing good, but that's about it. Um, but I will put the 2019 draft class in, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is. This is 2019. There's Kyler Murray, Nick Bosa, AJ Brown, Max Crosby, Montez. I put the entire first 32 best players that I found online, basically. Um, you can thank Bleacher Report for this, but this is the best 32 that they say, or the first 32 that would be drafted. Somehow, Garden Minshew made his way in, beats me how. But as you can see, after Jamont Jones, it's a bunch of auto-generated players, which makes the most sense in this term. Um, but I did do all 32 of these players to the most accurate attributes that I could put them at. So, I mean, we're not going to use it on Kyler Murray. We know how Kyler Murray is. Uh, Nick Bosa, I'm still going to use the points because at any point they can switch the stats that I put on them. Um, I try to put it to the most accurate that I could to them. But most of these guys could end up falling, like A.J. Brown. I would love to get a player like Max Crosby on the team. That would be great. Um, Montez Sweat, I'm not super crazy about. He's kind of mediocre at best. We could have two Josh Allens on the team, which would be pretty lethal. Uh, so I, I wouldn't mind it. I definitely wouldn't. Um... Christian Watkins also would be a good option. Ed Oliver comes up like in the next draft or so. Oh no, he's in this one. So Ed Oliver, the the pick that the Buffalo Bills ended up going with, who is still a late first rounder, we could still go after him. I don't think we'll go safety at all. Uh, Titus Howard is an option, late first round. Um, Devin White, since our Outside linebacker isn't planning on coming back, also because we're not planning to give him a contract. Um, Chris Lindstrom, basically the best guard in the league. Mid-first round. We could go offensive line. We could go a lot of different positions here. Uh, Rashad Gary could get picked up because of him being the perfect fit for right outside linebacker. Debo wouldn't be horrible either. I don't think we can finish. Oh, we can. So early first round. Yeah, I mean, if we end up doing horrible, I would love to get Nick Bosa, Max Crosby, Josh Allen. I would try to go defense first and then worry about the offense, almost like they did in real life. I think that we have two first-rounders, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know if we can see it here. We can. No, we don't. Okay, so for some reason, I thought that we get the Chiefs pick. Why, why am I mistaken? Oh, it was a 2018 first round pick in the year previous to 2019. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. But, yeah. So, that was the one that they got Tremont Edmonds and um, Josh Allen. So, Josh is only up to a 75, which isn't crazy. But we're using this year as kind of like a development year for Matt Milano and Edmonds as well. So, he's going to be saying, our defensive line is really going to be saying, Shaq Lawson is on the team. Um, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm not worried about it. I think we're just going to simulate to the end of the season. Then we're going to look at the statistics and see who is not performing well so we can pack them up. Sorry, I had to stop it because I had to see when LaShawn McCoy's contract was up. Uh, but it's up next year, so we're definitely going to pack them up in the off season. I wanted to. And I've had that in the back of my mind, but I just, it went over my head. And at the end of the season, Josh Allen's a 77 overall. We went seven and nine. So we did not even hit the nine win total. Uh, the Lions are on their quest to the Super Bowl. I assume that Calvin Johnson's still here. I don't think so. Didn't he retire? I could have sworn he did. But um, 
MVP is Deshaun Watson before the, you know, I'm not getting, nope. Mm -mm. None of our players made the MVP rankings, though. Ezekiel Elliott, whenever he was in his prime in, like, the first three years of his career. Um, Bill O'Brien, who made a questionable decision trading Deshaun Watson when he did. But here he wins Coach of the Year. Our coach definitely didn't win it, meaning uh, Juan Blanco. But the AFC, of course, has Offensive Player of the Year with Deshaun Watson instead of Tom Brady. The Patriots went 8-8. Eight and eight. Tom Brady's a 99 overall. God. Zach Cunningham. Oh, my God. The Texans are already performing well. I don't see them getting C.J. Stroud in four years. Uh, J.J. Watt was up there, but somehow got beat out by Zach Cunningham. Beats me. Uh, Lamar Jackson won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Josh Allen was, three, was third in the rankings. Uh, but Lamar Jackson took the Ravens to a 99 and seven record. Kareem Hunt before, uh, you know, uh, was second in the rankings. James Washington, Hayden Hurst. The, these uh, these names are taking me back here. Baker Mayfield was ninth in the rankings, which is not great for him. But Tremont Edmonds did win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Mika Fitzpatrick on the Dolphins was second. 2-14 and 14 for the Dolphins. That is horrendous. Um, a lot of great future defensive players here. Terrell Edmonds, his brother, ended up being a little lower there at the A spot. Always never really being as good as Tremont. But that's a great thing for him because I'm pretty sure he gets a upgrade in some capacity. Why did both of our safeties go down in overall? But doesn't he get something for that? Defensive Rookie of the Year, just just a shit ton of upgrades. Not even like a developmental upgrade. Nope. Mm -mm. So we're going to go ahead and simulate to the offseason. I'm not really worried about the Super Bowl or who's in it. I'm only worried about it whenever I'm in it. I'm in it. So we're going to figure out what to do with this team. All right, our last chance to get some of these players here. Uh, Kyle Williams still wants to be re-signed, but now he's a 78 overall. Eh. Eh. I don't know. I don't know about all that, buddy. Um, I don't think I'm going to waste my time with that. Because now you're just hoping for a contract. But Kelvin Benjamin, 85 overall, takes us down to 86 mil if we sign him now on the way that we wanted to. So, I mean, I guess we'll give him what he wants. Four years, 6.7. We'll just trade him before the end of it. That's a good offer. I'm glad we got the deal done. So, we keep Calvin Benjamin as like a safety blanket per se. But we still have a good amount of cap space. So, I think that we should be comfortable going into free agency. Um, if not, trade LaShawn McCoy. It's just that easy. At this point, oh, we only have 78 mil, so only. Um, but we have to see who's here. Ryan Shazier, middle linebacker. Um, wouldn't be a bad addition. 26, so he could be the future for us. Um, Cameron Wake on the downfall of his career. There's not a lot of great options. There's not. Hmm. I thought I was going to see a lot more for some reason. I guess we'll try to go after him um, to put next to Tremont Edmonds and run a 3-4 since we lost uh, Kyle Williams. But I'll give you 5 mil and a 2.5 signing bonus. Um, I think four years is good. I do. And I hope that you take this. Or that it's above the other teams. 103. It's not going to cut it. That is not going to cut it. Uh, withdraw. We're going to do it again. We're going to keep doing it until they give us a shit ton of points for it. This has to be enough. That's still not enough to beat the Redskins. Which is insane to me. How about now? Still not enough. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. They must be giving him the fucking bank. Good god. 
7.5, 3.15. Give me, give me Ryan Shazier, bro. And we still have, 20, we still have 70 mil at that. Um, I'm not really comfortable getting anybody else, though. Like, I know I could fill out some spots. I mean, ooh, uh, mm, we could go with the right tackle. We do need tackles. Um, Trent Brown, 26 years old. Go 5 mil to 15 for four years. Puts us below the fucking Redskins again. I'm glad I can call them the Redskins because in the Madden, in the most recent Madden, it's a pain in the ass because I'm so used to calling them the Redskins for so many years that like this whole like new name shit. Bro, how much did they fucking give this guy? Three mil signing bonus and a six mil salary. There's no way on God's green earth that the Redskins gave him more than that. Thank you. Jesus. Now he has 63 mil for the future. Um, I could go with young players like Dante Fowler, but we have Shaq Lawson at 25 years old. There just isn't a lot. There really isn't. Um, Brian Arakpo. Now, seeing these names brings me back because, like, I, I used to play Madden Heavy in these years with the Ultimate Team. Like, it was so bad that Pierre Garçon was, like, my favorite wide receiver. So, that probably can tell you how obsessed I was with this Madden Ultimate Team. Yeah, I really think that's going to do it. Uh, Wyatt Teller? Hold on. Hold on. Because I think it's justified. I think it's justified if I change the actual players that, like, we've seen get better, actually get better, you know? Because normal development on Wyatt Teller, we all know, is a fucking scam. That's, that man's a star. That man's a star. Okay. Well, well, we'll keep it at that. Okay, we have to see what positions that we really need so we can fill them out. Um, wide receiver isn't a need. Tight end isn't a need. Uh, probably backups. Um, we're about to get a right at, right tackle. Uh, right guard is a bit iffy in terms of if I'm going to get it or not. Um, Harrison Phillips. Why? Oh, you played for the Vikings. That's why I recognize you. Right? I think. Um, Jerry Hughes, Shaq Lawson. We don't have the left outside linebacker. Teron Johnson at 68 overall. Okay. All right. Let's cut it out here. Let's cut it out. We'll do quick. We'll do quick. We're going to be scarce with our ability giving. Um, I think I am going to trade LaShawn McCoy, though, to get a higher pick. Because I feel like my pick right now is lower than usual. Uh... The ninth pick isn't bad. We could try to trade up though. We'll do, let's just try to give LaShawn McCoy and see if we can get something out of it. Like a big pick. Um, I don't know if the Bears are bad. Adrian Amos on the Bears. Uh, Allen Robinson at an 88 overall. Jordan Howard, Roquan Smith. Oh my God. Um, we can go Broncos. I don't think they need a halfback. They do. They do need a halfback. Uh, we need a team that needs it a little bit more desperately, though. Which doesn't seem to be happening right now. I think Broncos is best case scenario for a high pick for LaShawn McCoy. Now, can we get, like, 1-2-3 type of thing? No. Okay. Let's get 1-2. Okay. No. Let's do 1. All right. Okay. That piqued his interest a lot. We'll do a third and a fourth next year. Okay, we'll do a third and a fifth this year. Okay, basically the same fucking value. Wow, that gives, okay. So I took LaShawn McCoy out um, and I put Harrison Phillips in. He has quick development. Which gives us halfway. Um, so I'd assume the third round pick would work now. Yes, I know Harrison Phillips gets a lot better in real life. 
Um, let's try to do fourth before we start giving up the whole house. Uh, nope. We'll do a third. Please, please take it. Okay. We'll do a fifth next year. Okay. We'll do a fourth next year. Okay. So Harrison Phillips, a third round pick this year and a fourth next year for the third pick in this draft. I do want to have two first round picks. That's why I wasn't giving up the pick of uh, the 11th. Now, I think, and why is it green for them now? Oh, because they're, they don't have their first. Um, I think if we can find a team that has green, what team was that? The Jets. Who's, who's our... Oh, I guess they didn't get Le'Veon Bell yet. We can probably get the 10th pick with the green. No, we can't. Okay. Um, I'll take a second pick then. Or maybe I look for your younger players. Leonard Williams is 25. Who already got re-signed. Um... And everybody else kind of just sucks. I'm not going to lie. We could go Leonard. Or Jamal Adams, who's young. Um, we could go with the second from you. Probably got to try to get a second and a third. I guess not. We'll do a second. I guess not. How about this straight up? Wow. Wow. Is he on the last year of his contract? I knew there was a catch. I did I, I, I did know that there was a catch. Am I against it though? I don't know. Cause Leonard is 25. So he still has years on him. And of course, LaShawn is 31. I wouldn't be opposed to re-signing Leonard. I'd still have to give up something. That's what bothers me. Um. I'll give you a fifth round pick this year. All right. Well, LaShawn McCoy is a New York Jet. Uh, we get Leonard Williams. We packed up a fifth round pick. So, not completely against it. But we do have to see if we're going to get the players that we have already been looking at. Um, my negotiations is Ryan Shazier and Trent Brown. Ah, uh, we have to see where that defensive tackle was that we were looking at. See if we can get like a one year. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Al Woods is a good one year player, so we'll do that and see if he ends up accepting. Um, he probably won't. I I'll bump it up a little. I'll bump it up to like four mil on the salary. Okay, so Al Woods, we're at the top of his, just to secure us for this year. Uh, why is he over five? Oh my god. Um, I don't think they're going to get worse, per se. Corey Peters, I already am signing another defensive tackle. Right guard, like I said, could be used. This would be more of an investment, especially with the Dolphins basically trying to swoop in. Um... He does have quick development, but he's 27. We'll do 4.5, 160. 95, not even close to enough. Okay, hold on. Let me work on this. Okay, so we're left with 48.1 mil. Um, I would probably move him to left guard, to be honest. That's being completely transparent, because I'm going to leave Wyatt Teller at right guard to develop but other than that that should definitely be it um marshawn lynch we could get for the year but i'm not necessarily worried about the halfback position uh i do need a punter because my punter left um sure Michael Pilardi. 
Hopefully you don't have anybody trying to go after you. You don't. Okay. So with that being said, Brian Shazier, Trent Brown, Jack Muart, Al Woods, and Michael Pilardi for the future. Um, still have about 47 mil. If any of these guys end up not performing that well, pack them up. Um, we're going to advance the week to stage two to see what we're able to get. But I'm happy that Josh Allen is a 77. Hopefully, he ends up getting even better next year um, with that superstar development. But we do have to see who we end up getting. Contract rejected by Trent Brown and Muart and Al Woods. So they said, fuck you. You're not getting an O-line. Heard you loud and clear. Murphy, how tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. And 259, why don't you play defensive tackle? Why don't we move you in? What, 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 what gets affected? Yeah, you're an 80 overall. Like, what? Okay, so in another case, we're still going to move to a... You are on the chopping block because 29 years old and you have five years left on your contract... Is that what I read correctly? Yeah, you can kick rocks. I'm packing your ass up. Immediately, I'm packing your ass up. Because there's no way I'm spending that type of money on you. Um, we're going to switch this to a 3-4. Because, I mean, it fits better too. Um, 46 defense, I'm pretty sure, is a... Nope, still a 4-3. Um... I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I should have known that. Uh, 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 uh. We'll do a base 3-4. 88 on that. We'll do spread. We need we need Josh Allen to develop more. Um, offense is a 69, but the defense is looking good. Um, cornerbacks. We need filler cornerbacks. And we don't have enough picks to do so. Who did you sign with? Okay, just nobody. Heard you. Okay, so we have a few more signings that we're going after. Uh, Brian Arakpo to fill in that uh, left outside linebacker position. I had completely blanked on the fact that Matt Milano is right outside. Um, but I'm going to just switch him over. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Mike Hilton at cornerback for the future. We'll just see if he ends up accepting our contract over the other ones. I don't really care. PJ Williams, um, Daryl Roberts, both one-year contracts. And I'm just trying to put on the team to help out. And Ramon Foster, who's a bit better than Redmond um, for at least a season to see if we can get something going. Uh, I'm trying to see. Trent Brown went to the Redskins. Um... Who else did we try to get? Al Woods went to the Colts. Okay. Um, Muar ended up going to the Dolphins regardless, even though we gave him significantly more money. Uh, Marshawn went to the Raiders like he did in real life. And I think that was it for the people that we tried to sign that rejected us. So we're going to go ahead and simulate another week. Actually, we're going to look at the college players Look real quick. Um, I'm not worried about Kyler. We can look at their combine grade now. First in the 40, first in the vert jump. So I have the third pick and the 11th pick. So we have to take a look at who could possibly drop, which it seems like AJ Brown might. Um, Josh Allen still seems to be an early first round pick. Now this also depends on their uh, the team needs. I don't think that a lot of teams are just going to be getting the best player available. Now, Kyler Murray's going number one regardless, but we do have a significantly more points for scouting. Uh, so we'll do this just to be able to see who's supposed to... DK Metcalf is supposed to go mid-first round. Um, Jeffrey Simmons, mid-first round. So we have some good options in the mid-first round. We could also go Josh Jacobs, which wouldn't be horrible. Um, I'm also not letting myself just like spend a haul on getting a bunch of first round picks. That's just stupid. Um, CJ Gardner Johnson performed very well, but is supposed to be late first rounder because of his, uh, 
recognition of plague. Don't know how it, why I said it like that, but I'm slightly stupid. Um, Terry McLaurin, I'm not very worried about. Montez Sweat, I guess, but like you didn't perform very well. I hope that they draft Montez Sweat over some of these other guys. As you can see, I also did their colleges correctly. So round of applause for me. Round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Brian Arako accepted, Foster accepted, Roberts accepted, of course Mike Houghton didn't, and PJ Williams accepted. I'm not worried about the cornerbacks as of right now. Um, halfback is also not a concern of mine. I think Calvin Benjamin is going to benefit a lot from um, not a lot of convincing wide receivers being behind him. We have to get rid of Star. That's what we have to get rid of. We could probably trade up, maybe, with Star since he is a defensive tackle i think yeah he is so yeah get your ass up out of here actually we could probably even get a first for you if we're being completely honest wait i have the ninth pick i'm stupid sometimes i really am i'm sorry i'm sorry i i, I just don't get it i think the dolphins might get wow the dolphins are gonna get kyler murray they still have ryan Tannehill, but he's 31. yeah Wow, that's insane. I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, so let's take a look at the Bears again. Um, I can get the 11th pick. Let me try to see if I can get a top 10 first and then go about it. Uh, they don't need it. Okay, I think they still have... Uh, I'm blanking on his name. Gerald McCoy. Jesus. And look, look at Vita Vea. Young Vita Vea. Wow, if only they knew. 95 overall Miles Garrett. And didn't he just get drafted? Wow. Okay. Um I think we could get a mid first round. Like the Chargers pick. Since they need a defensive tackle. Okay. Late first round it is. That's what I'll go for. Keenan Allen, who's on the Bears now. Uh who needs a Defense tackle, you need a defense tackle. Fifth round pick next year. I only worry about the top draft picks, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, like top four rounds. I'd give up the fourth round pick if I really need to. But star, our, our fifth round pick next year and our sixth round pick this year ends up getting packed up for the 27th overall pick in the first round this year. Um, definitely not opposed at all. Uh, did not like seeing that much money being spent on one man, uh, especially of that cate category, stature, I don't know. Um, but I don't mind what we have going on here. I don't. I think it's a dynasty in the making. I think that we should be fine for right now. Uh, I think Wyatt Teller should be starting. So Duke a C, take a Duke. Um... That should be it. That should be it until the draft. I'm not really worried about any other positions. Um, we can take a look at some later round picks because we have the second pick, fourth round. Okay, Noah Fant wouldn't be horrible. Okay, now we're getting to the auto-generated. So we'll do these. Eric Hall, early second rounder. Um, we do have an early second round pick. Roman George, also early second. Okay, he's an elusive back. Didn't really perform well at the combine. Cornerback, Darian Black, mid first round. So, I mean, oh, Zach Little was up here. First in the 40 and should be early in the second. So, I might go after Zach Little. Um simply because of the need for a cornerback halfback is a need i could go after that as well he had a four or five which isn't something to sneeze at we don't need a right outside and he didn't really perform well mm. another corner mid first round there's just not okay i don't have enough now but Fourth round isn't very enticing as of right now. We'll simulate to the draft. I don't think there's going to be any free agents either. And I also need to save my money for next year. Um, 
Ty Montgomery wants a five-year contract. What are you? You're normal development. That's why you're not getting signed. That's exactly why you're not getting signed. That's exactly why most of these halfbacks aren't getting signed. I could sign them to a one-year deal. If you'll take it, you'll probably take it as an insult. But you'll take it. You're, you're number 88, but you're a halfback. Okay. He accepted the contract. So we have Ty Montgomery at halfback. I'm only doing it to help Josh Allen develop. That's all I'm doing it for. Genuinely. Um, no other reason. At all. But Wyatt Teller should be able to develop. Right tackle would be very beneficial. And I think we could get one late in the first. If Titus Jones drops that far. Um, or Titus Howard, sorry. Late first round. I could get Titus Howard at that point. I think I could. And if not, we might have to take a look at right tackles in general. Um, you don't look like you're going to be good. Late second round. Uh, shit. Mid first. Jesus Christ. There's not a good class of right tackles in this one. Um, okay. Cornerbacks might be the other one. So cornerback right tackle and i mean it's gonna say right cornerback is fine but it's not left outside linebacker that's another one that we should look at um you seem to have performed well mid first round okay what about you francis drake do we even have a fifth round pick we don't um left outside not right outside josh allen and Devin White. Um, it's also another option for the late first round, which would probably be difficult if I had to choose between the two. But Josh Allen is up there at the third and the ninth pick. But we will simulate to the draft, see what we can end up doing for the Bills in the draft with the players that we have at the top. One of my better makes of a draft class. Um, if you wanna see this with another player, Tell me down in the comments below and while you're down there subscribe um you know i had to put that in there because i have enjoyed doing this but i can also do more of it if the offer is put up or the request is put up which i wouldn't mind it at all um we know patrick mahomes chiefs is already a dynasty i can also go back and not draft patrick mahomes that's also another option Think about it like that. Think about more options. Let me know down in the comments below. I wouldn't be opposed to anything. Um, I love doing these type of like out of the sorts type of rebuilds in a way, but this is basically making them a dynasty. Um, the Dolphins are on the clock. We're the third pick. So we'll just simulate to the next one. Kyler Murray, 87 overall goes to do the Dolphins. Oh my God. Jesus. Okay. Um, the Giants take Nick Bosa. Go fuck yourself, bro. God. You guys couldn't just leave me with Nick Bosa. Fuck. Okay. So, that leaves us with very um, limited options, per se. Um, as much as I want Max Crosby... It's probably not a good idea right now. So here's what we might do. We might reach on Josh Allen. I wanna get Josh Allen. Um, I think there's a lot of wide receivers that we can get between AJ Brown, Debo Samuel, uh, DK Metcalf. I think there's a lot of options. Now, I don't think I'm gonna let it go that deep, but I do wanna get a wide receiver. But I definitely don't feel like Josh Allen's going to be there whenever I get back. Um, and I don't want to have to trade up. I just really want Josh Allen on the bill. So we're going to have two Josh Allens on the team. He is a star and ranked number one in true talent. And 86 overall. Good God. Um... I mean, it, it was a stacked draft, and right off the rip, they were good, so I'm not completely opposed. A.J. Brown immediately went to the Cardinals, who was an 85. Max Crosby, who was an 82, went to the Bucks, so I'm not 
mad that I didn't take him. Um, Chris Lindstrom goes to the Vikings. The Browns take Christian Wilkins, defensive tackle, and the Colts take DK Metcalf. So that leaves Debo Samuel still on the board, which isn't horrible at all. Um, we can help the offense and the defense in the start of the draft. I'm just going to have to hope that Titus Howard somehow stays there until the 27th pick. Now, the likelihood of that, very slim. So I might have to trade up, but I do want to take Debo Samuel, who was first in the 40 with a 4-3-3. I'm taking him. I'm taking him. An 82 overall star, ranked first in true talent. Drafted him at nine. I, I, I feel like you just said that my other player was ranked first in true talent, but okay. Um, 96 B. Golly, boy. Whew. That is insane. Okay, so we're packing up our 27th pick in Jerry Hughes uh, for the 16th pick in this draft and the second round pick of the Panthers in the next one. I tried to get a third round pick in this year's but they sometimes get a little protective of it. So I wanted to move up, obviously, because of the offensive line situation that we're having. Um, Brian Burns goes to the Jets. Quinn and Williams goes to the Bears. Uh, Elton Jenkins goes to the Chargers. Montez Sweat goes to the Chiefs. TJ Hawkinson goes to the Titans at an 86 overall. Steelers take CJ Gardner Johnson. So they're not going to be trading for Minka Fitzpatrick, but that's not my issue. Um, Titus Howard. Yes, you were supposed to go late, but I need you now because I could go with one of these guys like Josh Jacobs or something like that or Dexter Lawrence. We need offensive line desperately, though. And Matt Milano's already at right outside linebacker. Terry McLaurin, I feel like it's just cheating if I end up going with these guys after trading up. Um, Ed Oliver is also an option. Do I bite the bullet one more year? Our right tackle is pretty dog shit. Um, he's a 64 overall. We'll just do it. We'll take the right tackle. I know there's all these players that I could take, but I'm going to have to worry about defense tackle in another draft or in free agency because... Fuck, man. Ugh. 79 overall. It's not a horrible. Um, just needed it to be a little bit better. But I'm not opposed to it. I mean, we get the right tackle. We get our cornerstones of the offensive line, and we won't really have to worry about it. Uh, we'll simulate to our next pick, which is the second round pick, which went fucking fast. Um, Garden Minshew is still here. But... Eric Hall, wide receiver, is still up here. Roman George also was supposed to go early first round. We haven't taken a cornerback yet, which is probably what I'm going to do here with Zach Little. B minus man coverage, C minus zone coverage. I mean, C minus press, but he was first in the 40 for the cornerbacks. I like to see that of Clemson, man to man. And he is normal development, and it's 72 overall. Okay, this is just glitch to say that's first. Okay. Um, quickly realized that that was a horrible pick. So we're definitely going to have to do our due diligence a little more in the future. But normal development 72 overall is not going to help us on this team. Um, a lot of players from the second round. So this draft class was just absolute dog shit. If these players are just up here who are projected to go in the second round. Um, we can take a chance on another cornerback, David Mosley. B minus man coverage, another man to man corner. Do we take a chance again? Yes. Um, 73 overall. So he's a better overall than our second round pick and his normal development as well. That's insane. Let's see if we can get a fullback in the seventh round. Um, I like the picks that we had. Maybe the right tackle was a bit iffy, but having the cornerstones helps us out tremendously. I don't really like any of these guys. I'll let the CPU decide. Because I don't like any of them to ruin my self-esteem. All right. And at the start of the new season, 
Uh, Josh Allen is still a 77 overall. Ty Montgomery is an 82. Our wide receiver room looks a lot better. Titus Howard does make the offensive line look a bit more uh, tangible. We're going to put Wyatt Teller up there. Defense, Leonard Williams, Shaq Lawson, Murphy at defensive tackle. They went at Oliver because they didn't have a defensive tackle. Um, Tredavious White, Roberts, and P.J. Williams are top three corners with the rookies under them who are not great. But the linebacker room looks impeccable. Uh, don't know why. Oh, that's why. Um, I'll move him to right outside. Aren't you supposed to be? Why the fuck are you over here? I don't get it. I really don't. Let's just auto sort. Why the fuck is he over here? Okay, clearly they don't want... What if I just drop your ass? Like a hot potato. Or trade you away, really. I could do that. I could do that. Let's see who wants you. Oh, wait, there was one. The Colts want you. Let me get your first. Okay, that was a bit of a reach, I know. Um, second. Okay, there's room to work here. If I give you... What do you want? You want a right tackle corner... Oh, take one of my rookies. Take one of them. They're fucking horrible. Poor Teron Johnson. Yeah, take... Uh, who's my second rounder? You. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Zach Little did not last very long on the team. He is a Indianapolis Colt now with Brian Arakpo. Um, and we got a second round pick. So now Matt Milano should be starting. He's not. Why? I don't get it. Like, what, what what's going on? You're literally put at right outside linebacker. Okay, watch. I'm going to put him at left outside. Why is he white? Um, I'm going to put him at left outside, and they're going to put him at right. What? Why the fuck is he still there? And I can't move him. Oh, I didn't certify it. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so Matt Milano is at right outside linebacker. Don't know why it didn't work before, but it's just going to work now. Um... Let's see if I confirm. Yeah, so it's still there. So our defense look in, looks impeccable. Our offense needs to keep up, meaning Josh Allen needs to develop more, which I think he will with Debo and Kelvin Benjamin on the team. That's a wild combination that I never thought I was ever going to say. Um, other than that, I think we're good. We can stimulate to the midseason mark and see how we're doing record-wise. Um, and yeah, Brian Rackpo did not last long on the Bills. And at the mid-season mark, we are three and four somehow. Um, that doesn't make much sense to me. But Josh Allen's up to a 78, so that's good. Um, needs to grow a beard. But, hmm, I don't know what's not performing here. Let's see. Let's see who we have to negotiate with. Because Leonard Williams is up for a contract. So is Charles Clay. Fuck. Um, and Shaq Lawson. Our kicker who's 34 as well. Which I probably will just sign a kicker in free agency. I'm not really concerned about that. Um, Leonard, how much are you going to take from us? Okay. I can deal with that. How about 2.65, 7 mil a year for five years? This is exactly the offer I was hoping for. Next season will be great. So... Signed him. Ty Montgomery, I could give less of a crap about you. Ooh, Charles Clay. 30 years old. And you want a four-year contract? I don't think so. Um, Shaq Lawson is my priority right now. Who only wants a two-year deal. Wait, does he? Okay, yeah. Why? Um, we'll bump it up to three mil and put it to one mil signing bonus. I'm excited to sign such a great offer. So Shaq Lawson should be good as our right end for this foreseeable future. And everybody else can kick rocks. Um, other than that, though, 
I do have to import my file. I completely forgot to unpause the damn thing. Um, so basically I went through the college players. I'm so sorry. I went through the college players and talked about uh, who I would probably go after, like Justin Jefferson, um, Chase Young, Trevon Diggs, Derek Brown. Um, sorry, I, I said it in the now not even a recording that I was shitting my pants about the draft class whenever I was trying to figure out how to put it in, but it was very simple how to put it in. Jonathan Taylor might be a top one that we might get or try to trade into the mid first round to get so we can have the hat back for the future. Um, AJ Terrell, also AC October ended up being a man to man cornerback, something that I was talking about that a lot of these auto generated uh, cornerbacks are man to man for some reason. Brandon Ayuk somehow drops to the second round in this beats me how um but i would definitely look into these prospects a little more with the scouting points later on when i get more but i'm not worried about the qb heavy part because you know joe burrow jalen hurts justin herbert uh jordan love i'm not worried about those guys tua definitely not tua um i hope i put his at the uh, deep accuracy low enough because definitely doesn't have it um but yeah i put all the guys that i would end up looking at um, and then I started looking at the stats and saw that Josh Allen had eight touchdowns and nine interceptions. So, and our running back only has one TD. So it's not like it's going to the running back. And I was trying to think of who was a pass heavy offense at this time. Um, but I couldn't really remember. Philly could be it. Um, 49ers it's just who was the Tennessee coach that didn't want their name put, being put in here um Baltimore probably not no I mean I could do Carolina I could do Carolina they had the Christian McCaffrey Cam Newton um and whoever would be their wide receiver at the time combination uh, fuck. I can't even do KC. I feel like that wouldn't even be... I mean, yeah, they, they've always been kind of pass. Um, that's also an issue. The Buffalo playbook doesn't have any 3-4. That's a whole issue. Um, okay, so we have to change it for sure. Pittsburgh wouldn't be horrible. It wouldn't be. Um, Jets, definitely not. We'll do with New England. So, KC and New England um, is what I'm going to do with that. And hopefully that ends up helping us for the rest of the season. If not, Josh Allen develops another year and then we push for a playoff run next year. Um... But I'm in no rush. I just want to make the Buffalo Bills a dynasty. Okay, so it seems like we didn't make it again. Um, yearly awards, though. Let's see if Josh Allen was in the running. Nope. All right. That's fantastic. Uh, Deshaun Watson wins another MVP. And Juan Blanco does not make it. So that's unfortunate. Um, Josh Allen isn't even in the running for Offensive Player of the Year. So... Fantastic. Monty Teo. What? The traumatized man himself. Um, Ryan Chazier was in Defensive Player of the Year conversations a bit, I would say. Kyler Murray, the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, Debo was in the top 10, so that's good for us. And Josh Allen was number two. Got beat out by... Frank Bridges. We were 6-10. and 10. Jesus. Okay, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I just need to see that Josh Allen is not high enough. I'm sorry. I have to fix it. There's no way. Because he's not developing enough. He isn't. And I need him to be higher than what he's supposed to be. Because 79 in, like, year 3 right now just doesn't make any sense. He's definitely an 85. I'm going to work through this. Um, strength at 72 is wild. 
But, I mean, it's just... Let's bump this up to, like, 70. That's one thing they got right. 99 throw power. Jesus. I mean, come on. These statistics are, like, horrible, bro. Okay. That should be good. That should be good for right now. He's an 85, which makes a lot more sense. We'll let him develop from there, but the fact that he was just in no man's land for a bit kind of pissed me off. Matt Milano, what are you doing? Why is he normal? God, I really should have gone through the roster as well before I started doing this because this is insane because he should at least be star, at least. Matt Milano is one of the best linebackers in the league. I mean, I think now, no, he doesn't play middle linebacker. He still plays outside. Um, but this combination over here is wild. Yeah, I mean, Edmund should be quick. Josh Allen uh, is up to a 90. Diabolical behavior. Um, Teron Johnson, I guess, isn't really going to develop. He's a 69 overall, but he's probably not going to see the light of day before he signs his contract. Um, but other than that, that should be good. Basically, sim to the offseason. I'm not really worried about much else right now because the stats don't matter. Because Josh Allen wasn't at his best, really. So, 85 should be good for the time being. And then we'll worry about what to put around him. All right. 85 mil to work with in cap room. Gives us a lot of space. Tyreek Hill is up for a contract. Which is correct. Ooh, that's very tempting. Derrick Henry is also available. Which I would not be against at all. At 26 years old. Um, Michael Brockers. Kendall Fuller is definitely a guy that I'm going to go after. Marshall Yon is 35. So I wouldn't be going too crazy about it. Um, Jalen Mills is another guy that we can go after for that cornerback position. Um, but I really do think that we need to focus on the offense more than anything. Um, there's Austin Eckler and A3. It's between Derrick Henry and Tyree Kill for the big, big contract that we can try to go for. Um, Tyree Kill is very, very, very tempting. And very difficult not to go after. Why don't we try to go for both? We don't know if they're actually going to accept both offers. Um... More than likely, one of them is going to deny it. For some reason, Tyree kills normal development, which is absolutely insane to me because he's only gotten better in real life. Um, five years, 10 mil, 5 mil signing bonus. Gets us 97 points and puts us in the clear. Um, so we might keep it there. We still have a significant amount of cap room after that. So let's go for Derrick Henry. Um, like I said, I'm going for a dynasty. I don't really care about the realism about it because a lot of things happen for the Chiefs that doesn't really seem real either. So Derrick Henry is going to get a big contract as well. Clears the hell out of the other teams and we still have 69 mil to work with. Um, Kendall Fuller is the next man up in that scenario. Um, we'll put two, we'll put three mil for the signing bonus and six mil for the salary. Um, 100 points gets us in first as well. So, so far we have Tyree Kill, Derrick Henry, Kendall Fuller. Um, next up, we should probably try to get a player like Jalen Mills. We really need to fill out that cornerback room as much as possible. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this draft, I mean, we're not going to be able to see it right now. Yeah, this one we want to focus on offensive line or wide receiver more than anything. Um, Derek Brown is also an option. I did say Jonathan Taylor. I could do Jonathan instead of Derek Henry in this one right now but if i'm able to get most of the players that i can in this i'd be fine with it and i can focus on players like the offensive line uh with the guards and the centers that we lack very much so uh tight ends we actually are missing so i don't think there was a big tight end in this draft if i'm not mistaken um i don't think so I don't. I didn't put the later round of the 2020 draft. But tight end definitely wasn't one that had a pop out in this one. So we might want to go after that tight end that we were looking at. Um, I can't remember his name. 
as of right now, but we are going to go after him regardless. It is Austin Hooper, who is 25 years old, um, which I'm not against now because I realize that Charles Clay is not on the team. Um, he can fill in for the next four years. I'm not opposed to it. 225, 4 mil, um, 96 points gets us right over the hump. Um, and hopefully he ends up accepting our contract instead of the opposed. We're also going to go for Will Lutz just because he'll be a secured kicker for the next couple years. Um, we still have our punter, so that's not really a concern. Um, Tyreek Hill, Derrick Henry, Kendall Fuller. What else do we need? Offensive line, I don't know if I can really do at this moment. Because um, none of them are really crazy. Marshall Yonda will literally retire probably next year. Um, and that'll put us right back in the shitter with that. We already re-signed Leonard Williams to a six-year contract. Uh, defensive tackle wouldn't hurt because Sheldon Rankins is 84 overall. Um, that would make me not have to worry about getting somebody like Derek Brown in the draft, which I'm not opposed to. Uh, let's do this and see if it works. 95 points gets us over. So we have an 84 overall possibly coming. Um... That outside linebacker is Josh Allen, who is a 90 overall, the other Josh Allen. Because um, the main one in this video is the quarterback. Jatavius Brown. Oh, yeah. For some reason, the whole Matt Milano situation. Jalen Mills was the other guy that I was trying to remember. Um, let's do this and see if it ends up being over the other ones. And it does by a lot. Um... McCourty's a little too old. Everybody else is like, eh. I mean, I could go after Quandre Diggs, but he's 28. Uh, Steven Nelson would also be another option. But as of right now, I think I'm pretty comfortable with that. Jordan Poyer is a 90 overall at 29. And Micah Hyde is a 93 still at 29. Um, so other than that, that really rounds out the negotiations that we have for this year. Tyreek Hill, Derrick Henry, Kendall Fuller, Jalen Mills, Sheldon Rankins, Austin Hooper, and Will Lutz. This really puts us in the place of focusing on those top heavy players like um, Justin Jefferson, uh, CeeDee Lamb, Tristan Wharfs, if we end up going for that type of position. Um, later in the first round, we could go after an offensive lineman um, like Michael Nwenu. I don't think I put him in, actually. Um, I did put Jedrick Wills in. It was a lot of offensive tackles, though. I forgot that Robert Hunt was in this draft class. So, we might try to squeeze him in. We might try to squeeze him in, try to get them in there if there's not any guards already. But we're going to simulate to the next round of this. Um, so, I have Calvin, Zay Jones, and Debo. So, we would have a hell of a wide receiver room if we end up getting Tyreek Hill. Um, Wyatt Teller's up to a 69 after last year. The defense is still doing well. Uh, the linebacker room is insane. The front seven in general is just unmatched. So if we can get the rest of those guys. All right. Kendall Fuller already starting it off with the rejection. Wow. Tyreek Hill also rejected and Austin Hooper. Jalen Mills, Sheldon Rankins, Derrick Henry, and Will Lutz all accepted though. So... That really does put us in a place of focusing on Justin Jefferson as much as possible, as we're now going to see. Um, I mean, I don't see another scenario. We have the ninth pick. We can trade up with one of our second uh, round picks because we have three of them. Or even just use a third round pick because we're at the ninth pick. We're in the top ten. Um, yeah, we don't have any guards. I mean, there's Gilbert Spencer. I can take a look at him mid first rounder, so we could do that. Uh, try to get a first, a mid first with maybe a future pick. Um, T Higgins is later in the draft as well. I, I don't think we're going to need Jonathan Taylor anymore after getting Derrick Henry on the team. AJ Terrell might be of use if he ends up falling. Um, we did end up finding AC October. Oh, Brandon Ayuk, I did forget about him. So. It really just depends how the draft falls. Um, Gabe Grimes 
a solid middle linebacker, Trevon Diggs. I could go after as well. We're just going to have to see because we're going to take a look at the free agents once again. It kind of blows me that Tyreek Hill rejected because we we're so far ahead of the other teams. Kendall Fuller as well. Austin Hooper blows my mind as well. But now I don't know what to do about that tight end position. I wasn't really concerned about wide receiver in terms of Tyreek. Um, but tight end was definitely in need. And I guess we're going to have to sign Charles Clay regardless. Or we can get Tyler Higby. He is younger. Um, and he would basically want the same contract, if not cheaper, than Charles Clay. And then if we're able to find a better tight end in the future, that would also help. So we'll do that. We'll get Tyler Higby um, on the team, 78 overall. Not tremendous, but not bad either. Um, we might have to do the Marshall Yonda route for the year. But we're going to move him. Oh, wow. The Broncos are offering him an insane contract. Um, clearly. Ugh. That's not good for us. Because our offensive line is horrendous. All right. I guess I'm going to have to overpay him for a year. Because, I mean, it's not going to help us tremendously. But we still need to try to fill out the line as much as possible. And then I'll worry about actually doing it with capable players or more young players in the future and we barely get over the hump of the broncos um other than that though i don't think there's any cornerbacks of significance there's jason mccordy it's a lot of the older guys mike hilton is here once again um normal development do i 180 overall again on more than a one-year deal maybe not um, I could do Steven Nelson. He's also normal development, though. See, he's not going to go anywhere. I'll do Jason McCourty for the year. Yeah, we'll do Jason McCourty for the year. If we end up getting somebody better in the draft or a young player in the draft, then I'll worry about uh, getting rid of one of the corners. But as of right now, the defense looks tremendous. Um, yeah, that cornerback room just needs as much help as possible. Murphy is probably going to be on its way out soon since we got Sheldon Rankins. Uh, a replacement at right on wouldn't be horrible. I'm sure the CPU is going to fill out these spots in the middle linebacker section um, and the left outside linebacker, but other than that, I'm pretty comfortable with what we have. Derrick Henry being next to Josh Allen is something that I thought I'd never see in my life, but it's a tremendous sight. So we're going to head to the next week, see if we get anybody. If not, then we'll just head straight to the draft see what trades we can make beforehand to try to get higher to make sure that we get Justin Jefferson. Um, Marshall Yonda rejected it. Okay, so we got a tight end, we got a cornerback, but we have no offensive line. Not exactly exciting, but we'll just take a look at what we have. Gobert Spencer was the one that I was talking about. Wow. Yeah, nobody's budging on that shit. What can we get at the ninth spot? Because I don't think Justin Jefferson is going to be there. Um, we can try to trade for a mid-first rounder um, with two second-round picks. That's not what I was trying to look for. Because um, they're not even letting us get into the top five, to be fairly honest. Uh, Chase Young is an option. So is Trayvon Diggs. Um... We could trade up to get C.D. Lamb, possibly. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. C.D. Lamb would be great next to C uh, Debo Samuel. I could try to get up there. It really just depends. Because a lot of the top teams don't really need a QB. But they might still go with it regardless. Uh, two second rounders for a... I think a 10th pick would be just okay. I guess not. So it's going to have to be a little bit lower than that. So you basically want a second, a second, and a third this year. I mean, I can give it, but I might as well be going for the 10th pick with that. Let me see if I can get the 10th pick. Is Wait, is Patrick Mahomes not developing? Oh, wow. 
Josh Allen fans are celebrating worldwide. Um, let's see. Bengals. I think I can get this with this. Okay, I guess not. So we're going right back to the Chiefs and getting that 12th pick. I think it'll work. Wow, this is insane behavior. Okay, so this would literally get me like the 14th pick probably. If I run into the 14th pick before, yeah, I guess. I'll, I'll do it. Let's see if I can do it for just the two seconds. Nope, it, they need the third. So, uh, that'll be tough to give up. Mm, let me do next year. Take next year's. Fuck, I'm going to have to give up this year's. Wow, just to get another uh, first round pick. Okay, we got the 14th overall pick for two seconds and a third this year. Um, not really opposed. It, I just preferred to keep that one. We can get Brandon Ayuk in the second round if necessary. Um, if we see a lot of the players that we need at that ninth and 14th spot and it's not a wide receiver. We also aren't in desperate need of a wide receiver. So we're in desperate need of an offensive line, which is probably going to have to be dealt with next year uh, in trades. But the defense doesn't really need help other than maybe right ends. But I don't know if I can just move Chase Young over to right end if I end up getting him. That's a whole other thing in itself. Matt Milano still has not developed at all with star development. Okay. Um... Other than that, we're going to head into the drafts. Not really any more free agents that are of significance to me. Um, if the CPU ends up deciding to sign somebody, good for them. But it's not going to be under my jurisdiction. All right, let's head into the draft. Um, kind of disappointing that we probably won't be getting Justin Jefferson. Let's do one more try to get him. We'll trade... A second round pick next year. Why not? Okay. Nobody's budging. I'm not doing more than that. So we're just going to have to see if he ends up falling to us. Um, the Broncos have Case Keenum as their QB. And they take Justin Jefferson at the first spot, which is fucking outrageous. Um, 88 overall Justin Jefferson. Insane. Joe Burrow goes to the Bears. Never thought I'd see that. Minnesota Vikings take Tristan Wharfs at the third spot. An offensive tackle. The Bucks take Andrew Thomas at the fourth spot. Justin Herbert goes to the Jets at the fifth. The Titans take Gabe Grimes, the auto-generated middle linebacker who's projected to go in the middle of the rounds. Derek Brown goes to the Colts. So these are really limiting my options right now. And the Redskins go with Galbert Spen Gilbert Spencer. These fucking scumbags. I was going to go after that guy, and they take him right off the board. All right, so <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of an ASMR because I need to do this quietly because there's people asleep in the house. But I want to play another game, so I have to get through this draft because I feel like it's going to fuck my picks up. Trayvon Diggs, CD Lamb. And Chase Young. And that's really about it right now. We do have the 14th pick. So we could go with somebody like Chase Young. To give us that young edge pressure. Um, we could go Trayvon Diggs for the young cornerback. To put alongside Tredavious White. I think I'm pretty comfortable with Shaq Lawson being on the edge. Just because of the cornerback value, I'm going to go ahead and just take him right now. It's a pretty straight up answer. His 40 was kind of shit, but it's okay. Star development, 79 overall. That's not bad. Kind of wish it was a little bit better. All right, we're going to go pick by pick. Um, CD Lamb goes literally the next pick, and he was an 86 overall. That is diabolical work. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill myself. Um, Lions go Chase Young, Chiefs go T Higgins, fuck me, Jeremy Chin goes to the Seahawks, so now, on the board, we have a tackle, and that's just about it, that's a fan.
fucking fantastic. We should have taken CD. I feel like Trayvon Dix would have been here. I'm about to trade out of this and get two second rounders, to be honest. I mean, I can also just trade out to the 28th, but why the fuck are they giving me a pick next year? Like, literally just the first. That's lame as fuck. I could get a second round pick this year, a second round pick next year, and a third round pick this year, which wouldn't be half bad. Um, I kind of like the Falcons pick better, though. That might be what I go with. That seems like the most logical one right now because it's just higher, so we'll take that one. I'm not worried about Jedrick Wills. Um, I know that I said I need O-line, but I have more of a chance to get a left guard, cornerback, and wide receiver with trading down, so we're just going to do that. Literally, Tua is sitting up here because of his shit deep accuracy. Jordan Love, I'm honestly surprised. Um, I'll take the left guard. I mean, I could also take a right guard, but I'm going to go with this guy first. Oh, he's a late second rounder. Your power. I'll take a chance on you. 75 overall. It's diabolical work. Okay. We're going to move him to center. Then our next pick is literally the late pick, so I really hope that that guy's still there. He's still here. Okay. So, Austin Spitz. God damn, 72 overall. I'm going to... This is insane. This is insane. We are starting horribly right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, for the last pick, basically, because who the fuck gives a fuck about a seven round pick, to be honest. Um, I can't really pick in terms of value or stats, because clearly don't have either. Um, I think I'm going to try to trade for CD Lamb after this, to be honest. So let's just try to get, like, I mean, everybody needs a right outside linebacker. 74 overall is diabolical. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get that guy, and then we're going to simulate to the end and see what happens. I might unload picks literally just to get CD Lamb, if we're being honest here. I think he went to the Bengals, if I'm not mistaken. This is basically like Jamar Chase going there. Yeah, there's CD. Um, uh, I'll give you a second and a third for CD right now. Suck my cock and balls. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for the next draft. I'll see you guys in a bit. Now, after that draft, sorry about the possible awkwardness of the draft that we just had, but I needed to get that part done. I had the draft already going once I was looking at um, how late it was getting and I just couldn't be loud, so I ended up drafting Trayvon Diggs, and um, who else did I draft? I know I drafted somebody else. Okay, yeah, so it's Trayvon Diggs, Bakari McKnight, Austin Spitz. I think Bakari McKnight, though, was our second pick, because um, I was trying to get offensive line. I, I apologize. To be honest, I was trying to get through that draft as quick as I could. Um, but I know Trayvon Diggs was the big hitter. And I know we missed out on somebody. Um, and that was unfortunate. But now we're in this new season with an even better defense now that Trayvon Diggs is on it. Josh Allen at an 85. Derrick Henry, who's an 88. And Young. So he should be excelling in some way. Um, quick is a bit wild for Derrick Henry, but I mean, we'll see what happens. Debo Samuel, Zay Jones, um, Tyler Higby is our new tight end. And a good offensive line. I mean, um, Wyatt Teller still has to develop. Uh, Spitz and McKnight are both rookies, and then you have Deion Dawkins on the end. So the offense needs to keep up a little or just be able to score some points while the defense stops the other team. Um, but I'm excited for this one. I think I'm just going to simulate through um, until the midseason mark. If I end up making any sort of decisions or actually we'll look at the rookies for this upcoming draft um, when we get there. Um, the dynasty isn't dynastying right now. Um, two and five at the midseason mark. Um, clearly, Josh Allen has not developed for some odd reason. I don't know why. Um, 
The defense has some upgrades. I'm just confused, to be quite honest. Ugh. 11 passing touchdowns and 6 interceptions. Okay, that's an improvement, but I don't know what we're doing. Tyler Higby is our leading receiver. That's not good. Why? Okay, so we have to change the playbook again because clearly we're not using our wide receiver one and Debo Samuel. But it could also be the fact that the offensive line still hasn't really done anything, uh, which is unfortunate. I might have to trade Wyatt Teller for another right guard, possibly. But I guess midseason mark is a little too far for the trade center. So I guess that's just something that we're going to have to deal with. Um, college players, we got to implement the draft class. 2021 draft class, what can you do to help us? Because clearly we need it. Um, that's a defensive tackle that wasn't in my thing. Let's Juan Bostic. Early first round pick out of Penn State run stopper. It could be possible, but I think we're, we really have to focus on either uh, wide receiver, not even wide receiver. We need like uh, offensive line because clearly we're struggling in that department. Um, Micah Parsons wouldn't be bad since Matt Milano really isn't doing anything right now. Patrick Sertain, I don't know why he's white. I didn't put it like that. Um, Javon, Javon Holland wouldn't be bad. Um, Hunter Booty. Interesting. Um, Lunier Patrick. All of these guys are like first round picks. So if we want a new offensive line, we're going to have to do something for it. Um, I don't necessarily know where all the prospects are that I put in. I put Javon, Patrick Peter, or Patrick Sertain. Micah Parsons, Justin Fields, Jalen Waddle, Jamar Chase, Travis Etienne, Trevor Lawrence. That's so interesting. Connor Painter. I could really just go full offensive line and not worry about any of the actual prospects that we know. Because um, to be quite honest, we're probably going to need it. These guys also could be superstar at that or at least star, and I would be happy with it. Corner isn't really a issue to me now that we got Trevon uh, Diggs or Trayvon Diggs. Um, Lunier Patrick, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to get a lot of first round picks. That seems like the only way, and the only way that we're gonna be able to get that is probably trading Wyatt Smith or Wyatt Teller. Um, I don't know why I said Wyatt Smith. Wyatt Teller in order to do that. Um, Amon Ross falling to the second round, so I wouldn't mind that. Um, that's just interesting that some players fell to the second, but it shows that that's a heavy draft class in terms of the CPU making it. But we do have a lot of players that are up for a contract. Um, Davius White is definitely a priority. Jordan Poyer, who's still a 90. Um, defensive tackle, which might need to be looked at. I'm not sure about Deion Dawkins yet. He hasn't really done anything to wow me. I know for sure I'm going to get Tredavious White back. Um, we'll do 7 mil and put this up to 4 mil to keep him on the team. Okay, cool. So he's staying on the team. Jordan Poyer, you want a four-year deal? I'll do 235 and 5.5 over four years. Okay, cool. So we're signing all of our defense back, really. Um, Trent Murphy, you're not standing out to me right now. Uh, Matt Milano, I wouldn't be opposed to bringing back, although we might replace him, but I don't think we'll have the draft picks to be able to do so. Um, three years. Cool. So Matt Milano stays on the team. Deion Dawkins, left tackle, another guy. We're getting close to 60 mil in cap space, which is a concern. But if we can keep our left tackle, that would be good. Cool. So we're keeping most of our guys. Um, Zay Jones, 
I don't think I'm trying to spend that type of money on you. If anything, I'll draft a uh, wide receiver in, in the draft. But two and five just is very, very surprising to me. I really didn't think that was going to be possible. Tremont Edmonds wins player of the week this past week. But hmm, I don't know why you're not developing. How are you not doing anything at all? Like, do we have to change the playbook again? Like, what, what do we have to do? Because we're not even using our wide receiver one. Who was a team that had, like, a wide receiver one at this time? Philly? It's built on zone run and West Coast team. See, I mean, it would work because of Derek. I mean, we can try it. We can try it. Our defense, I don't know how our defense is doing. Juan Blanco is just not coaching good right now. Um, where's the stats? Let's see. Defensive yards is six. So our defense is great. I just don't understand why we're not becoming a dynasty right now. Um, we're going to simulate to the playoffs, see if we somehow come back in some shape or form. Um... If not, we're going to have to start trading things. And Wyatt Teller might be the first on the list on top of the other players on the offensive line because we might just replace them. All right. Well, it looks like we didn't make it again. I, I, I'm not understanding this. Um, six and ten while the Patriots went three and 13. Clearly, Tom Brady retired. Trayvon Diggs is up to an 83. Josh Allen only went up one overall. Debo keeps developing. I don't really get it. Joe Burrow was in the running for MVP before Josh Allen is. I don't know Josh Allen is the dynasty guy now. Because <laughs> what the... Like, what are we supposed to do about it? Zach Cunningham's just having a career now. Um, oh... Vontez perfect. The reason why Antonio Brown is the way that he is now. Um, offensive Rookie of the Year. We didn't really have anything. I wanted Brandon Ayuk. That's what happened. I wanted Brandon Ayuk, and he didn't fall to me. Then I tried to get CD, and that didn't work. So, I mean, you can't win them all. Uh, defensive Rookie of the Year. Somehow, Trayvon Diggs isn't even in the running. Okay. Um, oh, obviously, he's not going to be in best QB. But... Okay, so we're going to simulate to the offseason because we didn't make the playoffs. Um, and going to have to somehow figure out what the hell to do with a 6-10 and 10 team that we think that we're improving. But clearly we have to invest in the offense more. All right, players ready to negotiate. I mean, these guys, Trent Murphy regressed insanely. Um, Zay Jones... Now we're down to 43.6. I can't really be spending that type of money on him. Um, let me see. Raymond McLeod is our wide receiver three. And Calvin Benjamin is regressing. So he might be getting packed up. Maybe we do re-sign Zay Jones. And then we pack up uh, Calvin Benjamin. Um, in case... We are able to move into the top of the first round. And in case we need to get multiple first round picks, we got to figure out something to switch the trend right now. Because I'm also on all Madden because I only do this stuff on all Madden. So we're going to have to see. All right. So we're looking to sign Nadamik and Sue. Um, see if we can get him on a one year contract. It seems like that's the way to go right now. Uh, he is 34. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Getting a better tight end might also help our quarterback. Let's see if that's enough points. We're tied with the Jaguars. I'm going to up it. Um, I'm going to up this real quick. 29.2 puts us clear above. Um, Xavier Woods. We should be good with Jordan Poyer for right now. Um, Desmond King is a cornerback that we could get. We could also get Derek Barnett. Um, Jimmy Smith, who's older. David Andrews. So we could invest in 
the offensive line also. Um, I just don't know how much money we're going to have afterwards. And the Dolphins are sending a fucking bag to this guy. Um, I don't know. I'll show you guys what I end up deciding to re-sign or sign in this free agency after I do it. Okay, so we are attempting to sign Ndamukong Sue, and then we're going to switch back to a 4-3 because clearly that works better for the Bills. Um, David Njoku, 86 overall tight end. We would possibly pack up Tyler Higby in that scenario um, or just keep him and they run a two tight end scheme. Desmond King at cornerback, he would be our CB probably four, uh, but I just want to have a very solidified cornerback room and defensive back room at that. Uh, David Andrews, who was getting a fucking bag this offseason, regardless of who he picks. Uh, and Chris Godwin, who is basically going to replace Kev Kelvin Benjamin um, for much cheaper. So we're going to see about that. And then after that, we would trade Calvin Benjamin if we end up getting him. But for right now, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. It's nothing like amazing, but I wanted to get a right end to replace Shaq Lawson. That wasn't happening um, for like good value. Matt Milano needs to develop. We just need guys to develop more and quicker. So we'll see what happens on these contracts that we have sent out to these players. And already, David Njoku rejected. David Andrews accepted. So did Desmond King, Chris Godwin, and Adama Kinsu rejected it. So we're staying in a 3-4. Um, and we still have about 23 mil to spend in cap. Now, we got Chris Godwin. God, people just don't want to come here, it seems. Um, there's not really much else to do in this free agency. So, I mean, fullback we need. Chris Godwin. I mean, you're regressing. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, you are regressing. Um, we're going to try to see what we can get for Calvin Benjamin. I don't think that a lot of teams are going to want him necessarily. Uh, yeah, I mean... The Bengals want him. I mean, if you give me C.D. Lamb back, that would be great. Or I can take Dexter Lawrence. I, I do need defensive tackle. Um, not even close. Okay, let me see if I can get C.D. Same amount of interest. So what is your first pick? The 15th pick. So would you do that? Maybe a second rounder for Calvin Benjamin. No? What about that straight up? Okay, it's close. Um, we have the seventh pick and two second round picks. Let's do a fifth and a sixth with Calvin Benjamin. Okay, so we'll do a fourth next year, a fifth this year with Calvin Benjamin to send to the Bengals. They're not interested in Calvin Benjamin. That's why they're still in it. Okay. Um, what about... Fuck. What about a fourth and a fifth next year and not this year? Okay, so what about a third and a fourth next year? And then I'll worry about the rookie draft class when that comes. Okay, so Calvin Benjamin is going to the Bengals for a first round pick. Um, we have 39 mil in room now, so that's going to help a bit. Um... We have a lot of play. I just feel like we should be a lot better than what we are. And it's pretty disappointing. Um, let's try to get another first round pick. I think we got David Andrews on the team. So we have a center. Um, so that is set in stone. We have a left tackle. We have a right tackle as much as they want to be dog shit. Um... Our wide receiver room is okay. I don't think I'm gonna be spending more money on wide receivers though. Our defense is always solid. Um, I would rather Trayvon Diggs be the cornerback three, but I guess that's what they chose to do. Uh, 
I don't know, man. What type of rookies are we looking at? Because maybe I can get, like, Jamar Chase or Jalen Waddle at my pick. Because we have the seventh pick. I could get Jalen Waddle. Um, then we get... We don't need a center. We have two first-round picks. So we don't need Patrick Sertain in reality. Um, center we don't need. Right guard, but this is a late draft pick. And I, I could have sworn I saw a left guard. We'll just go individually to this. No. Okay. So, I mean, I can get one of the centers and move them to a left guard. They have the size to be able to do it. And usually it doesn't affect them that much. He would be a mid first round pick. So, I have the 15th pick. I have the 7th pick. Um, I could also get a right end who's projected to be an early first rounder. So maybe I stick with the whole not going for the actual rookies that we know. Um, I just need three first rounders. That's really the main suit here. So, I mean, I, I'm going to see if that right end drops to me. If he doesn't, then we figure out something else. I mean, Shaq Lawson isn't doing horrible because the defense isn't the issue, it's the offense, and I feel like it's mainly the offensive line. Um, so we do need an extra first-round pick. Now, am I going to keep my second-round picks um, in order to get more players? Maybe not. I might try to trade them to get that first in reality. So we're going to try to do that right now. Um, unfortunately, the two biggest players that we were trying to get didn't come to the team, so we have to pivot. Okay, well, I figured something else out. Quentin Nelson is now a Buffalo Bill. I traded my late second rounder, my fifth rounder, and a sixth rounder to get Quentin Nelson to put at left guard so we don't have to worry about a um, young player coming in not really being great off the rip now we have a solidified left guard now we should look for right guard um Wyatt Teller I mean I could take the easy way out with that and just put Wyatt Teller to what he's supposed to be right now but we'll look at other options I don't want to take the easy way out with that okay and we got Brandon Sheriff who required a third round pick this year a fourth round pick this year and a seventh round pick the only one that i was worried about was the seventh round pick or the please the third round pick that i gave up but it's brandon sheriff and he's 29 um i'm sure that his contract is probably about to be up i'll pay him but that solidifies our offensive line finally and we don't really have to worry as much about getting the nitpicky uh positions now now we can try to improve on talent. So right end, unfortunately, right outside linebacker. I don't think Matt Milano is really going to be improving too much anytime soon. Um, wide receiver, we could improve the depth there. Fullback, I could see if I can get one in free agency. I don't think there really is any fullbacks in free agency. I could also get a player and move him to fullback, but I don't think we have any power backs in this right now. I mean, Jamal Williams, we could do that with. Um, uh, I don't think so. Chris Carson. Wow. He had one good season with the Seahawks and they didn't let him play anymore. Ah, uh, fullback is a pain in the ass. Let me try to see what I can do about that position. Because fullback, I don't know why defense tackle was in desperate need. But fullback is one of those positions that... You don't think you need, but sometimes it's like a requirement. Okay, well, we gave up Wyatt Teller to get Kyle Juszczyk. Um, I know it's a bit crazy, but I'm trying to make sure everything is set in stone. I need my offense to be amazing, and then that makes my defense look good too. Um, so like I said, I'm making this into a dynasty. This doesn't mean I'm making it 100% realistic. Okay, cool. So... Going back to scouting the college players, now Tuan Chinasa is a bit more of an option. Um, we could wait in the second round in order to get, um, we could also get Michael Parsons and put him at right end um, or left end. 
I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. I might do Micah Parsons. Oh, Micah Parsons is very, very, very tempting. Um, I'm still intrigued by this whole Amon Ross St. Brown being in the second round. Where does it have it? Late second round. That is diabolical. Okay, that makes me comfortable with getting him in the early second round. So, with the 7th and 15th, I might go Micah and a wide receiver like Jalen Waddle or Jamar Chase at that top spot. What I might do is trade up to the top five. Um, if I even have anything else to be able to trade. But if I'm able to trade up to the f top five, oh my God. If I'm able to trade up to the top five, then it would be much easier to be comfortable. Uh, I, I, I just might figure it out as I go. Um, I like the team right now. I guess we're just gonna have to see how the cookie crumbles in the draft and see what we value more in terms of improving our defensive ends or improving, um, I mean, he can also just replace Matt Milano at that, but I think he's more of a better pass rusher than anything. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I mean, if I end up needing to trade up in order to get him, then I'll do that, but we'll swim to the draft and see what we're able to bring to the team. All right, this is gonna be a very pivotal draft, so let's get into it. The seventh overall pick, the Patriots are first on the clock, which I assume that they would go for Trevor Lawrence. Jalen Waddle at the first pick, when they don't have, okay, all right, okay. Jamar Chase goes second. Yeah, I wasn't gonna be trading up for that, I'm sorry. The Cowboys take, it's Nassau. The Bucks take a right tackle. The Marcus Sims middle linebacker goes to Detroit Lions. Brandon Spitz goes to the okay. So okay, mm. we could go defensive tackle. I don't really want to. Um, but Michael Parsons could be at our next pick, or we could just trade up. Um, I might go defensive tackle because I forgot that Jamar Chase was already off the board. Uh, I could also go Javon Holland. I could go Micah Parsons and then Javon Holland at uh, the 15th spot because, uh, but we need defensive tackle. I think we do need to move forward with defensive tackle. And he was supposed to be first off the board. That's what's wild. Um, I mean, 4.8. Eight in the 40. I might just go defensive first round. Um, and hope that our safeties hold out for a bit. Uh, yeah. Latuan Bosick. 81 overall. Quick development. Not bad. Uh, 306, 64. Also not bad. Let me try to trade up. Um, I'm not trading any of my picks this year. So don't even think about that. Uh, we're gonna do that and then we are going to see who is number 10 possibly or nine whichever one comes first nine um how much does that do okay so we can possibly do fifth and six next year okay so they're gonna need a little bit more than that um, left guard, I don't really think we have a backup. We do have a young Austin Spitz, um, which I wouldn't mind giving up. But I need a second round pick, possibly. Okay, so maybe a third round pick. Jesus Christ, you have three second round picks, bro? Okay, they're not giving it up. How about a third round pick next year? Okay, you're a scumbag. Um, how about, who do you have? Who do you have and who do you have that's off contract? Um, or about to be. You have Andrew Luck. Two really good wide receivers. Um, Jabal Shear, Shear, 
Uh, fuck. Okay. Um, Derek Brown is on their team. They have a loaded squad. Uh, maybe not too loaded. Uh, I mean, I could use backups if you give me, like, yeah. Ah, oh, you're such a scumbag. Okay, I'll take a fourth next year. You're a fucking bitch. Okay. Just... Let me see if I can get Austin Spitz. Okay, no. All right, we'll just give it up. We'll give it up. We'll give it up. We'll give it up. I'm not even going to try to nickel and dime or do any of that. Um, all right, Austin Spitz, pick 15 for number nine. Hopefully, my player is still there. Um, all we have to do is wait one pick. You're a fucking prick. Oh my god, you're a fucking prick. Oh my god, I hate this game. Oh my god, I hate this game. With a burning passion in my fucking heart. Holy shit, I hate this game. I fucking hate this game so much. It is a burning passion inside of me. How the fuck do I trade for the ninth pick? And the second, the second I press to simulate forward it's fucking micah parsons that's no no oh my god now i'm gonna have to like draft a fucking tight end or something because what the fuck am i supposed to do and i didn't even look at the tight ends to see if they're fucking worth it okay i don't give a fuck i'm trading for micah parsons after this but i am gonna draft somebody um that's such tomfoolery Okay, God, I'm like so tight right now. I could go left tackle, replace Deion Dawkins, because, I mean, he's not doing anything. I could also go tight end with Tyler Higby there. Um, I don't think we need left tackle. Corbin Mare is a possession. Okay, what's the difference between you and this guy? Clearly, you had a better combine. I could also go Nick Bolton. Javon Holland's also an option. Patrick Sertain's also an option. You know what? We'll go fucking Patrick Sertain. I'm not doing the whole tight end risking that shit situation. Um, and I feel like it's going to say late first round and it's not actually going to be. I don't want any of these guys. Uh, tight end, I'm really comfortable with. We'll just do Patrick Sertain. Fuck it. Um, Jesus Christ. 86 superstar. What the fuck? Um, okay. Patrick Tertain's on the team and clearly much better than a lot of players. So we'll include Desmond King in that fucking trade for uh, Micah Parsons because they can go fuck themselves. Um, Travis Etienne just went right before us. Um, wide receiver. Amon Ross St. Brown is here. So I'm going to go with Amon Ross St. Brown. So Amon Ross St. Brown is now on the team. 76 star. Um, and I'm wearing number 14, which is diabolical work. And that's it for the draft. So we're going to get out of this draft. We're going to go get Micah Parsons and put him on the team because there's no way I traded up and traded a young prospect just to not get the son of a bitch. This is literally an 100% scheme fit. Uh, the 46 defense, now that we got Bostic, Sheldon Rankins, I mean, getting the prospect definitely helps a lot. Um... The cornerback room is absolutely absurd, which I could, mm, I could pack up one of them or I could keep it like that. <sighs> I do really want to get Micah. So if I have to trade one of them, then I'll trade one of them. But we're going to have to see what the fucking Titans need. God, fuck the Titans. Um, Of course, they need a right guard when I fucking had one. Jesus. Uh, Micah Parsons. Give me the motherfucker. And I had left guard too, so isn't that fucking convenient? I could just pack up my picks for this year if I really wanted to. Because, uh, who's in this draft class? I think it's like Sauce Gardner, Garrett Wilson. Do I really need those guys? Maybe not. I'll try to do a second, fifth, and a six. Not even close. What about a first? 
Oh, you're being a fucking prick. Um, what about two first? Oh, you're being a fucking douchebag. Okay. Um, strong safety. God, fuck the fucking Titans. Jesus. I'm about to fucking crash out because of them. Um... Jesus, bro. I really did want fucking Micah. And they just took him from under me. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to keep this cornerback room the way that it is right now until I see otherwise that I need to trade or trade for something. Um, Josh Allen, please fucking develop. All right. We're at the midseason mark. In our bye week. Our last thing was a win. And we are... Three and five. How the fuck is that even possible? I don't get it. I don't get it. Josh Allen's up to an 88. Um, I don't understand it. I really don't. And I seem to n am never going to. Oh, shit. England just got to go in stoppage time. Um, sorry. I'm watching the Euro 2024. Uh, yeah, no, Josh Allen, you want a fucking contract, but you're playing, and you're back down the star. Sick. Okay. Micah Hyde, you're gonna want three years, which I'm not willing to give. Um, Josh Allen, God, you're off your rookie contract. Uh, four years. Okay, so we got Josh, now we need Quentin. Oh, this is going to be tough. We need Quentin. For sure, we need Quentin. Um, okay, so Quentin Nelson stays on the team. Five years for Tremont Edmonds. Okay, we keep Tremont. Shaq Lawson, you're on fucking thin ice, buddy. Um, God, I don't know what we're going to do. Micah, you're not coming back. I'm sorry. That's uh, It's the end of the road for you. Because um, I'm not paying a 30-year-old man star money uh oh this has Kayvon Thibodeau sauce Tariq Derek Singley Kyle Hamilton I mean I could get Kyle Hamilton replace him real quick that's just a fucking swap at that point um I might do that um, I might not worry about it in free agency okay so ha huh, okay just gonna have to hope for the best because the trade center's closed. Um, fuck, man. Okay, we're gonna simulate to the end of the season. I just hope that we're able to do something instead of be three and five. Okay, ten and six is good enough for me. Um, Josh Allen's up to an eighty-nine. Debo Samuel's up to a ninety. Everybody is positively developing. 95 overall defense. Patrick Sertain's up to a 90. Tredavious White is up to a 95. And Josh Allen on defense is up to a 94. Jesus Christ. Okay. What's our special teams? Okay. So our special teams is good. What I was thinking in one second was that our special teams was dog shit. Which it isn't. So I don't know why we were performing that way. But... We have to face the New England Patriots in the wild card round right now. And we did not have any awards. Juan Blanco was sixth in coach of the year. And Josh Allen did not win anything. Kyler Murray is still on the Dolphins. Ryan Shazier won defensive player of the year. Wow. Okay. Um, Von Miller would not be coming to the Buffalo Bills. Um, wow. And now they just scored a goal in extra time. Um, let me see. Nobody for us on Offensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive Rookie of the Year, of course, is Micah Parsons over Patrick Trattain. Fuck the Tennessee Titans for the rest of my life. But with that being said, I was admiring the, the team in silence. Um... With that being said, we will simulate past the wild card round, hopefully beating the New England Patriots, who have tied twice this year, which I've never seen in my lifetime. 
And we win, and we have to face the Kansas City Chiefs. Is Patrick Mahomes even, like, good right now? Not really, but they have Kareem Hunt as a 96 overall, and T. Higgins at a 91, Chris Jones at a 91, Travis Kelsey at a 90, Eric Berry at a 90. Like, they have a loaded, loaded squad. Um, but it doesn't seem... Who the fuck is their QB? Tyrod Taylor! Where did Patrick Mahomes go? God, this really is an alternate universe. Um, Justin Herbert. Cam Newton. Lamar Jackson. Patrick Mahomes is playing behind Ben Roethlisberger in New Orleans. Wow. Okay. Never thought I'd see the day. Um, also, yes, I didn't care to put him as a superstar and do all that shit. The day that I see Patrick Mahomes struggling is the day that I'm happy. I'm sorry. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not that much of a hater. It's more the Chiefs. I don't like seeing the Chiefs. But uh, the team as a whole. But we're going to go ahead and advance through this week of the divisional since it's not a Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen duel. We're going to go to the conference championship and the... Buffalo Bills make it to the AFC Championship um, facing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Team's still looking good. Ah, I'm fucking stretched. We didn't even look at the stats. Okay, so Josh Allen picked it up. He almost hit 4,000 yards. He had 27 TDs and 11 interceptions. Derrick Henry had nine touchdowns, while Kyle Juszczyk had seven. Um, Tyler Higby somehow... Oh, no, he's not. He's not. Uh, Zay Jones is our top receiving threat, surprisingly. Debo is second, and Chris Godwin is fourth. So, how is our defense doing, actually? Because that's what I was about to check. Ryan Shazier had the most tackles, TFLs, Shaq Lawson. Ryan Shazier was right there. I wish Ryan Shazier didn't get paralyzed, man. That's That was such an unfortunate circumstance, because I, I actually really liked him as a player. Um, well, par paralyzed temporarily. Now he can walk a good bit. Uh, Josh Allen on defense had 14 and a half sacks and Ryan Chaser had eight and a half. He was just doing everything. Um, seven intercept interceptions for Jadavius White. Micah Hyde had three. Um, Sertain had two and so did Ryan Chaser. So unfortunately, Micah Hyde's going to be on the way out after this season, but we could swiftly replace him if we are able to move up in the draft. But in terms of the conference championship, we're going to sim to the Super Bowl to see if it is the Jaguars or the Bills that make it all the way to the Lombardi Trophy. And it is going to be the Buffalo Bills facing the Dallas Cowboys. Now we have an option to look at the college players. So um, I'm not worried about him. Uh, not really worried about those. I could go Brees Hall or something like that. Um, supposedly he's a mid first rounder. Drake London. I could replace Say Jones very quickly. Um, there just isn't a lot going on. Tight end might be an option. I did see this guy, but he's a late first round pick. Uh, let's look at the right ends of this draft. I know that I saw Aiden Hutchinson, which also I, I needed to show you that I will never trust the CPU ever again because it says that Aiden Hutchinson is a second round pick. And I was very generous with Aiden Hutchinson because he basically came in and made an impact. So the fact that he is projected to be an early second round pick blows my mind. Um, what sucks about this like CPU in terms of the draft process is that you don't really get to see as much as you do now. You get to see like three key stats and that's about it. Even if you have like the top of the top scouting because I literally paid XP for that. You really, you still don't get to see much. Um, Richard Cornelius, that's a hell of a name. Um, early first rounder. So, I mean, we only have our first and second round pick in reality, but we are gonna face the Dallas Cowboys, which hopefully we would be able to um, simulate and watch because it is our first Super Bowl. So the 89 overall Buffalo Bills is facing the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I think it's in Dallas. So hopefully we can come out on top.
And we are going to simulate through this game in Super Sim with the beautiful menu that Madden 19 had and the past Maddens had. And the Dallas Cowboys get stopped on their first drive as the Buffalo Bills go downfield and score the first touchdown of the day. The Cowboys trying to answer in some way. Their defense is helping them out as they try to go downfield with strictly Ezekiel Elliott and end up with nothing. As it seems that we got the ball back or they missed the field goal. I don't even know. 7-0 to zero in a 15-yard penalty on Trayvon Diggs screws us and gives them the ball as they go downfield and they're in the red zone now and don't tie up the game they've been in the red zone twice on the past three drives and have not been able to execute well enough to be able to tie up the game as the buffalo bills try to extend the lead and end up getting a field goal with will lutz putting it through making it 10 to 0 and closing the second quarter the buffalo bills End up getting another one, making it a 13-0 game, and it is a two-touchdown game now. And we are going into halftime. Now with the Cowboys starting off with the ball, or us actually starting off with the ball, I thought we got ball first, but clearly, clearly we didn't. The Cowboys still have yet to put any points up on the board as the Buffalo Bills get a 19-0 lead since we missed our extra point. And now the Cowboys seem to have awakened. Still. Okay, just a field goal now. I thought they missed it again. But now we turn the ball over. But Leonard Williams gets a sack against Dak Prescott. 19 to 3. The Bills need to hold on right now in terms of the defense and the offense because the offense still needs to score points. Chris Godwin is getting the majority of the targets right now. Bakari McKnight, why are you playing? You're a backup. Come on, 19 to three, and they end up making it 19 to 11. It's only a one touchdown game if they're able to get it back. A four yard rush makes it third and three, and a penalty helps us out tremendously. It must have been a pass interference with how specific the yards are. And we are now across the 50, possibly in field goal range. The Ball was thrown away by Josh Allen with fourth and eight at the 48 yard line. I think we're gonna have to punt it. I don't think Will Lutz can make it that far. Yeah, he can't. But they're at basically the one. That was a hell of a punt by back. Uh, was it, is it Bagley or Paddockley? I don't even know. 19, 11, 55 seconds left on the clock and the Cowboys are a little too far downfield to be able to do anything here. Pass is thrown away twice. A five-yard reception. They get a 17-yard reception by Ezekiel Elliott with one second left on the clock. And that is going to do it for our first Super Bowl. 19-11. to It was a very hot, hard-fought game and a very odd score. I'm sure that's a score of Gami right there because, hold on, I'm going to see if that's ever happened because that intrigues me a lot. That has only happened, well, hold on. Because we're looking at Debo Samuel holding on to the trophy. And now Ryan Shazier. Josh Allen's in the back for some reason. But a beautiful, beautiful win by the Buffalo Bills. We're going to talk more about this Scorigami whenever we have the chance. Um, I don't think it's ever happened in the Super Bowl, though. All right. To go back to that uh, score that we were just talking about. That hasn't happened since 2020 when the Indianapolis Colts beat the Chicago Bears 19-20. Then before that, it was 10 years with the 49ers and Redskins and also the Steelers and Titans. Then it was another 10 years with the Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. And then it hadn't happened before that since 1961 with the Chargers and Buffalo Bills. Um, it seems like at the beginning of the season. But I don't think that's ever happened... Um, in the Super Bowl, which I mean, not a lot of crazy scores have happened in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, no. So, all those were regular season games, it seems, um, which is very intriguing. Very intriguing. Um, that's your own Super Bowl score, Agami, right there of the episode. But my contract was extended, Juan Blanco. Um, and now we can move on to the re signing period. 
Uh, we do have to at least win one more Super Bowl in order to call this a dynasty, whether it's this year or the year after that. Um, Micah Hyde is definitely not coming back. And what the fuck happened to our team? What the fuck are we? Who the fuck? Hold on. What happened to the Bills? The Aftershocks? What the fuck type of name is this? And why did we switch when we won a fucking Super Bowl? What the fuck is the Aftershocks? I I'm, I'm, I'm mind blown right now. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Okay, well... Like, what? I I'm so mind blown right now. What the fuck are the Aftershocks? Okay, whatever. Um, we're gonna... Simulate. I'm not gonna re-sign Shaq Lawson. Uh, yet. Damn, Josh Allen's up to a 92. Um, uh, I'm very confused, if you can't tell. Um, I don't know if I can edit it back. Because why did we just all of a sudden switch? Yeah, there's not really anything I can do about it, which really sucks. Um, okay, well, we're still the Buffalo Bills in my eyes, so I'm not even going to act like... I, I just don't understand. 5.86 mil. Why the fuck? Why do we have no money? We have no money. Well, available funds is a different story. We have 63 mil in available funds. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to get a right outside line or right end of some sort. Um, Tony Brown. Uh, Von Miller. No, thank you. I don't want to suffer the same consequences as a real life team. We can't do anything in this free agency. So we're going to simulate forward, get the points to do the drafting, and see what we're able to do. Um, we're going to have to probably trade a... Um, damn, we have a 30-second pick. Well, yeah, we won the Super Bowl. Um... Kyle Hamilton, we definitely are going to have to probably trade up if we're going to get him. And we have no right end. So that literally means that we're going to have to trade into the f higher first round. Not only with our first overall pick, but with that second uh, round pick. We can't even think about getting... Um, what's his face? The Chris Alaves, the Garrett Wilsons. We can't do that. We can't. Um, that's just off the table. So we're going to try to figure out what to do in terms of that situation with these picks. We could also use like future picks. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to move up into the round, um, and see if it's even possible. All right. So we're trading the first round pick that we have the second round pick next year and the third round pick next year. Um, we're going to get to the point of this year in real life, um, and try to see, if we can win, hopefully we can win a second Super Bowl this year. So we won't really have to worry about um, pushing even further. Because it seems like now the caps, the cap scenario is getting a little iffy, if I do say so myself. Um, we do have to somehow trade again into the first round. Uh, this isn't really wanted enough. So I might have to trade like next year's first and a, the second this year. Can we get the fifth overall pick? No, but it's close. So I think we can get like a number 10 pick. Okay, you need a little more. So I'll give you a fifth round pick this year. So first, second, and fifth for the 12th overall pick. Um, okay, so now we have two top 15 picks to do whatever we want with we can't really trade out of them or trade up with them we have the 12th and the 13th so if we're able to let me see if i can trade up a little more to like the ninth pick maybe damn quentin williams is a 99 good god that man is insane okay 
Um, let's try to get to the ninth pick. So we moved up to the tenth pick. I'm not using my sixth or seventh round pick, so I, I don't think anybody in realistic ways are gonna be using that in terms of franchise. I understand in real life, but franchise those really don't mean jack shit, especially in Madden 19. Um, okay, so that basically secures that we could get somebody like Kyle Hamilton. Um, I didn't even think about using the cornerbacks, which was stupid. Um, fuck, I shouldn't have traded a first round pick next year. I, that literally completely slipped my mind. How old are you, Jalen Mills? You're 28 and you're normal dev, so you're not gonna improve anymore. Desmond King, you're also normal dev. Um, so for sure, we need to get Kyle Hamilton, whether he's gonna be at strong safety or free safety. We could also get Aiden Hutchinson, who is supposed to be a second round pick. We could trade one of our corners for a second round pick, whether that's Desmond King or Jalen Mills. Um, or we could try to get uh, Quentin, Quentin Williams right here, 99 overall, um, with the cornerbacks. They need cornerbacks, so we could give up Mosley and well, Jalen Mills is the older one but has better stats, so we'll do Desmond King. They don't want Mosley. How, how much does this do for you? Okay. Um... I literally have no picks for next year. Oh, no, I do. It's all these. Um, okay, fourth, fifth. Fourth, fifth, and Desmond King. I didn't think that was going to work. Uh, right tackle? I don't have anybody but him. Wide receiver? You could take Zay Jones. I don't really care for him much, but that probably won't do much for you. Um, left tackle? Let's just try Zay Jones. Let's see if he takes it. No. Okay. Um, this is probably not going to happen. It's just a fever dream. But let's see. Fifth pick for Desmond. K okay. I guess not. Um, I don't think they need a cornerback. So we have to see what teams need cornerbacks um, and try to get their picks with that. Let's see. Oh, well, Jalen Mills is a bit more sought after. Straight up. Okay, guess not. Uh, I, now that I already did it, I might as well just keep them. Um, keep the depth that we have at cornerback, and then whenever they have to leave, then I'll just pack them up. But for right now, I'm comfortable with getting the players that I need to at strong safety and right end or left end, whether that's Aiden Hutchinson or uh, that one guy. I think... Yeah, I think we can just go straight into the draft because we don't have enough money to do otherwise. All right, time to hop into the draft and hopefully be able to get the players that we need. Um, with the first pick, I don't know who that is. Defense tackle, Sauce Gardner goes to the Lions. Cornelius goes to the Steelers. It's a very Steelers name. Uh, Chris Olave goes to the Bucks at an 80 overall. Curtis Thompson goes to the Broncos. Tariq Wollin goes to the Colts. The Raiders take Trent McDuffie at a 78 overall. Uh, De La Puente goes there. And Turner Ritchie, a center, goes to the Ravens. And now, oh, Garrett Wilson. That's so tempting, but we literally only have two picks. Um... I have to go defense. God, I wish I could get Garrett... Wilson. I can't, though. Okay. Kyle Hamilton. Come to the team. 79 overall superstar. The Aftershocks is absurd. I, I might just end it after the season just because of the fact of it being the fucking Aftershocks. Um, Kyle Hamilton now on the Bills. Uh, right tackle for the Seahawks. And Derek Stingley goes to the Titans. Fuck the Titans. Um... Now that leaves us with getting either EJ Luckett or the guy that we know, Aiden Hutchinson, which I might just go Aiden Hutchinson just because I like having all these names that I recognize on the team. Um, 
that just might be what I go with. And I honestly, mm, let me see what I can get to trade down. Just a little bit, just a little bit. If I can trade down into the first round still, that would be great. Uh, but that's not possible. It would be putting us down like to the 30th spot and not with anything helping out. So we're just going to take our guy. Um, yeah, and he also just has better stats. Aiden Hutchinson, run stopper. 79 overall superstar as well. I could have sworn I put him at star. Um, but I guess they changed it. 20 years old out of Michigan with freckles. That doesn't look very much like Aiden Hutchinson. But that is all our picks for the draft. So we replace the positions that we need. Uh, we're going to move either Leonard Williams or Aiden Hutchinson to the spot that one of them needs to go to. And also Kyle Hamilton is more than likely going to be filling in where Micah Hyde was. Um, whether they put him there or not right now, I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't even think they've like secured the fact that they're on the team. So, oh no, Aiden Hutchinson is there. Okay, so I'm gonna move Kyle Hamilton to strong safety. I think that should work. And then Aiden Hutchinson's already in the position that he should be at. Yeah, so that helps us in that. Um, I do like how in newer Maddens after this, like they put the colors of their like development trait, that helps a lot. Um, instead of me having to go into their actual player model. Jordan Poyer is basically in his last year of being relevant. So hopefully we can win another one. Amon Ross St. Brown still has yet to develop. So we have to see what happens with him. But we're going to simulate to the mid-season mark, really. Um, and hopefully the team's doing well. All right, and the Bills are 4-3. and three. Um, As much as they want me to call them something else i'm not calling him that uh josh allen is still on 90 and we have some players ready to negotiate right now and josh allen is one of them the defensive one um which is a concern and we don't have a lot of money so this very well may be our last year because this is the peak of the dynasty right now i mean we need to win um i think i'm gonna have to do these in free agency really there's not really much of a choice. Um, I know seven years. That's fucking diabolical. Okay, so he stays on the team. Debo brings us down to 4.4. That would leave us without Ryan Chazier. And possibly not Titus Howard. Okay, hold on. So maybe I can figure this out. And we won't have to end this early. <laughs> Um, let's do Debo. Okay. So, he doesn't want that. Titus Howard, I can't really do anything with you until Debo decides to come back to the team. So, that is all I can do. At least I got the main guy out of that. Uh, we do not have this draft class in, and I don't think I'm going to make it right now. Um, just not worth the time, really. Uh, it takes a lot of time, actually, to make the draft classes. So I might just have to take, like, a deep look whenever it comes down to it. And I don't think we're going to have, like, a grip. We don't have any picks, actually. I forgot completely. We don't have any picks, so there really is no point of us worrying about that. So we're facing the Dolphins this week. Um, Deion Dawkins still hasn't developed to shit. Aiden Hutchinson's 81, and so is Kyle Hamilton. And everybody seems to be developing, so hopefully that continues. Uh, Tremont Edmonds or... Right? Yeah, Tremont Edmonds or Tremaine Edmonds, however you want to call it, could very well fill in for Ryan Chazier in the future once Ryan Chazier is probably out. Uh, and everybody else looks good. I mean, Patrick's or, or PS2 is up to a 94, so that's good for us. And yeah, we just beat the Patriots. Now we face another divisional matchup, and then we just keep going to the end of the season. We're going to simulate to that, and hopefully we end up making another push. All right. Oh boy, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> um, uh, well, Josh Allen is it in the top MVP conversation, so that's not good. Well, Juan Blanco is there. Actually, I didn't even take a good look because I forgot we're not the Bills anymore. Um, Juan Blanco is in the top three coaches of the year. Why does he just not like, he's not in the running at all. Um, Ryan Shazier is in the top five. 
Josh Allen is also in the top 10, and so is Tremont Edmonds. That's good. Garrett Wilson ended up going to the Dolphins. That's so it's going great for my Dolphins right now in this. I love it. Um, Kyle Hamilton and Aiden Hutchinson were both back to back. Wait, we're 12 and 4? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's why we didn't see anything because we probably got the first round by. Okay. All right. Um, that's great. And a lot of our players are doing well. Jordan Poyer hasn't regressed anymore, so that's good. Matt Milano has been a 79 this entire rebuild. So that's interesting. Josh Allen is up to a 97 um, on defense. And hopefully that continues to get better. But we're going to simulate to the divisional to see who we end up facing. Um, wow, 12 and 4. The Houston Texans, who don't even have CJ Stroud, they just have a hell of a defense. So. Oof, we need to look at their roster. Oh, they do have a quarterback, and it's Deshaun Watson. Holy fuck, they have a team. Oh, my God. I just have to hope. I mean, I, they have a hell of a team. Good God. AFC Conference Championship, it's probably them. And it is us, the Aftershocks. Um... I, I I don't even I didn't even think that was like a possibility to be honest with you. It's still blowing my mind. Um Oh, we fucking beat the ass. Uh sorry, I've been cursing a lot and that's unnecessary. The Cleveland Browns though, who do they have? Cuz this could possibly be our last one and we have to really soak it in. Oh, Miles Garrett, Christian Watkins who is a 98 overall, Jarvis Landry who ended up panning out. Denzel Ward, Brandon Ayuk, and Baker Mayfield at an 87 overall with a killer defense. Good God. And Vontez Burfick is on that team. Hopefully he doesn't hit people in the head or our players in the head as hard as he did with Antonio Brown. But we're simulating to the Super Bowl to see who it's going to be. And it is the... Aftershocks against the 7, 8, and 1 Bears. How the fuck did they make it into the playoffs in first? Because um, Debo's a 94 overall. But is their defense really holding the weight that much? I would assume so. But we're going to hop into this game. A lot of players are developing right now, which is very nice to see. Our possible last Super Bowl with the Bills we can basically just let them be after this to continue their legacy. A 90 overall Buffalo Bills. Fuck whatever they just called that. I don't know where we're at in terms of the aftershocks, but hopefully we end up coming out on top because it seems like they shouldn't even be here. I think it's San Diego. Why are we still in the AFC East? Oh, we're facing Joe Burrow. Oh, God. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Maybe Joe Burrow's on one of those runs that he did with the Bengals. Let's see if we're able to start off hot. 3-0 to zero isn't too hot as the Bears go downfield and just seem to not be able to do anything. It seems like it's been back and forth, actually, and I've just missed a change of possession. But 3-3 three to three as they get a field goal to tie it up. And we're trying to do something. And the uh, CPU tends to not keep up with me. But 6-3... to three, with four minutes left in the second, and somehow a run by whoever the running back is gets them a touchdown. 10 to 6, as we're trying to answer back with that shock. And they end up getting the ball back and scoring. 17 to 6. And they get the ball back again. Wow, they stopped. They ended. Wow. They ended the end of the second with some momentum and they start off with the ball as well we need a touchdown there we go 17 to 12 did not make the field goal so that's not good for us and the bears get another touchdown 24 to 12 and we're trying to get another one we're at the two third and goal and we're not even Getting the touchdown. I need to. I need to get in. I need to get in. I need to get in. I'm sorry. Wow, this these jerseys are not as good as 
the Bills ones. Um, fuck, that's my fault. That's completely my fault. All right, Bears. And they punt it. Wow, that was quick. Um, oh, it was a safety. Okay, hold on. I need to, Now I need to really jump in because now I have a bit more of a chance to do something, and they just got a penalty because of David Andrews. So we have to do something. All right, 24 to 14. Oh, a possession catch by Tyler Higby in traffic with eight minutes left. Let's try to see if we can hurry this up. Tyler Higby is going to be going across the field once again, but he's going to hopefully go up. Oh, my gosh, that was a horrible pass, but oh, he didn't catch it in bounds. Fuck. We'll go with the short route. Kyle Juszczyk. Getting the first down. I don't think we necessarily need to rush it, but we need to be on our toes. Oh, a hell of a catch on a bad throw by Josh Allen. But Debo Samuel got, went out and got that because he knows how important this is right now. Let's run the ball, with Derek. Um, oh, it's not even Derek. Okay, we're changing it. I'm not running the ball with Kyle Juszczyk. I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. Here we go. Chris Godwin gets us nine yards. Doesn't get us the first. Let's try to hurry it up. I don't like how much time we're taking off the clock. Try that again. Good God. That man was coming off the edge. Leonard Floyd get, makes it third and eight when we could have had a first. There it is. There it is. Zay Jones. Rolls into the end zone, and the Bills, not the aftershocks, the Bills get that much closer to taking the lead to possibly win a back-to-back -back Super Bowl. All right, I'm not going to play defense because sometimes I fuck that up a little bit too hard. Um, Joe Burrow throws the ball away. Jo Jordan Howard runs two yards, and they get a big pass to Jordan Howard. Okay, we might be better off with me actually doing it because it seems like it's just not doing it. Here we go. Ryan Chase here on the last year of his contract. Three minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Second and six. That man is open. That man popped it out and he dropped the ball because of a big hit by Jordan Poyer. Here we go. Joe Burrow. Third and six. A big moment. Who was that on? Who was that on? No fucking way, Leonard Williams. You did not just fuck us. Jesus Christ, Leonard. You're, you're not helping us out, bro. You're not helping us out. Oh my God. Please, don't run the ball. There we go. Big stop by Tremaine Edmonds. 24-21 with 3 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. We have all our timeouts. We're going to let them do what they want with that. We're going to have 3 minutes on the clock still with all of it. And hopefully we're able to go downfield from the 18th yard line. Here we go, Debo. I need you to go up and get that. I need you to go up and get it. No, I don't. I got Tyler Higby down the middle. Getting that possession catch once again with 3 minutes left. We're going to no huddle. Because we need to at least get into the red zone before we start getting comfortable. Debo, I can still see you up top. Oh, that's a beauty. And we, he dropped the ball. Fuck. I thought I put that right in there. San Diego? Oh, right down the middle. Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin pushes to the 41. We're going to let it run for right now. Because we still have to hike it before that two-minute warning regardless. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Chris Godwin isn't even in on this play. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, it's a fumble.
How the fuck do we challenge? There's nothing to challenge my fucking ass. Wow. No matter the outcome, I think it really is going to be the last year. I'm not going to do the whole faking that we're not the Bills anymore. But I am definitely mind blown. Fuck. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. But I think I think we did prove ourselves to be a dynasty. Um, I don't, I think this team would definitely win more Super Bowls. Uh, but that's gonna do it for that. That's so unfortunate. It was a hell of a game. Just the fact that Josh Allen fumbled was a little concerning. But ah, uh, twenty four to twenty one, and we're watching the other team win the Super Bowl. The Chicago Bears somehow 7-8-1. That's probably the worst record that I've seen win the Super Bowl in NFL history, but I think we definitely proved ourselves. I think this team could definitely keep winning Super Bowls with Josh Allen and the entire squad that we have right now. It's just unfortunate that it ended that way. Uh, unfortunately, the way that this episode ends is on a Super Bowl loss, but if you just take a look at this, we could definitely keep winning it's just unfortunate that it had to end that way but we've spent a, a significant amount of time and now about to be in the 2023 season um just shows that we made this team more of a dynasty than what the bills are right now and i think that's impressive in itself so hopefully you did end up enjoying that um if you want me to continue this specific one let me know down in the comments below um I enjoyed it or if you want me to do another one if you want me to get another Madden and do it with a certain team I could definitely do that but um, while you're down there like so more people can see it it helps get this out to more people it helps bring more ideas um, and we can keep it going with the different Maddens because this doesn't rely on a new Madden. It just relies on going back in the past and rebuilding a certain team to make it a dynasty. I could even do the Dolphins where we don't draft Tua and we draft Justin Herbert and see what happens um, and rebuild around that. But we did make the Bills a dynasty. Unfortunately, they changed it to the Aftershock. So that kind of turned me off from keeping it to the 2024 season. But I enjoyed it and hopefully you did. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.